Mars Guy is on location in Chile, exploring a 5,700 meter volcano spewing steam and sulfuric acid in order to better understand possible conditions of early Mars. This episode of Mars Guy presents a brief update. In the previous episode, I presented observations from the Spirit rover of opaline silica deposits that probably formed in ancient hot springs, including finger-like structures that may have involved microbial life. But it's also possible that volcanic steam vents known as fumaroles produce the opaline silica and that the structures were sculpted by wind erosion. I've come to a volcano called Lastaria at the edge of the Atacama Desert in Chile to help address this possibility. This is a place so dry that it may represent the climatic conditions of Mars billions of years ago when the silica deposits discovered by spirit were formed. My question is whether the sulfuric acid produced by the fumaroles here can leach the volcanic rocks to produce a residue of opaline silica like is found in much wetter fumaroleic settings like in Hawaii. Our team successfully reached the fumaroles at about 5,000 meters, where I collected rock samples of materials displaying a range of color and presumably variations in alteration. The high elevation and noxious hydrogen sulfide gases, think rotten egg smell, made it challenging, but I've now got a good collection of rocks to investigate back in the lab to determine whether or not opaline silica has formed. A future episode will present the results, so stay tuned.